Right, quick video about installing Giants Editor and setting it up. And like I said before in the previous video, you have to have FS25 installed for the editor to work, particularly for doing maps, because it needs to find the game files. You need to be able to find the textures, you need to be able to find um, the lighting, shadowing, all of that stuff. And you can only do that through the game. All right, so I'm going to show you how to set it up and make sure it works properly for you. So the first thing you need to do is you need to come to, like I said before, the Giants Developer Network. You need to set up your user profile if you haven't done it yet. That's what you need to do. And then you come here and like I said before, time of recording, December 2024. The Giants Editor version is 10.0.3 install it once it is installed and you have followed all of its little bits and pieces and I'm not going to install it again because I don't need to you will get your startup icon double click it double click it not like Seber, who just randomly can't do it properly. And then you're going to want to come in here. You're going to want to go to File. Then you're going to want to come to Preferences. Now, this is how I have mine set up. Okay. If you're making mods as opposed to maps... I've not changed this for maps, I don't know whether it helps, but if you're making mods, you want to change this to a smaller, I think it's one actually, so it's one to one scale. Um, but we, we don't really need to do that for the map. Uh, so the first thing that you need to do, or the first thing that I do, is I come down here to external tools and go to text editor path and then I set it up to use um, Notepad++. Plus plus. Uh, it's real easy to find once you've installed it. It should be on your main local disk if that's where you've installed it. If you haven't, then you need to find out where. And then you just click on it and click open and then go with it and let that be there. And then the next thing, which is the most important thing, is you come to Game Installation. You go to Installation Path, and then you come on here, alright? And you need to know where your game was installed. Now, I installed mine through Steam. You may have installed yours from a disk. You may have installed yours as a download from um, Giants themselves, from their web page, or their shop, or whatever. Or you may have got it from another another source or whatever. You need to know where it was installed when you installed it onto your PC. So mine is local disk C. It is in program files 86. We're going to look for Steam. There it is. Double click that. Then we're going to look for Steam apps. Double click, there it is. Then we're going to go to Common. And then we're going to go to Farming Simulator. Zebra. Farming Simulator 25. Select Folder. Or just click it and then Select Folder. And that is it. You apply. And then everything will be rosy. Everything will work. Um, also in here, in Preferences. You have some other things that are very helpful, very handy, very important to remember that you can come here at any given time and check this out, okay? You have the viewport. You can set this up. You can change this gray to black or pink or whatever you want it to be. I just have it set as the standard gray. Scripting, well, we'll, we'll cover that later. And then shortcuts. So these are your key. You, these are the key bound, 
keys for your keyboard. All right. So if you need to know how to do something like copy and paste, everybody knows that it's control C to copy and control V to paste, but it, it's all here. Okay. Interactive placement is such a handy one. Click on the item, click control B and then click your mouse and then it takes it there. Right. Um, and then all the other, all the other controls are there. Okay, very, very helpful. If you wanted to change them, and I do not recommend changing them, but if you wanted to change them, you can do. But the reason I don't recommend it is because nobody else does. So when you're watching a video, somebody's video, you know that they're going to be using these keybinds, all right? So if you're slightly confused, you can just come here and look to see what they're talking about, okay? Or just ask. So that is very handy as well. So that basically is what you need to know and do to set up Giants Editor.